Prince Harry and his wife Meghan claim they had to jump into a taxi to escape the paparazzi last night. Tonight we're hearing from that taxi driver, a witness, police, and a statement from the couple. CBS 2's Tim Nicholas is live on the Upper East Side. Tim? Dana and Dick, it was right in this area near 67th and Park where Prince Harry and Meghan Markle got out of the car they were in and switched to a taxi cab as they tried to get away from paparazzi here on the Upper East Side. That cabbie says he recognizes passengers right away. You pick up celebrities all the time. So I didn't think much of it when they got in either. Sunny Singh says shortly after Harry and Meghan got into his cab, they got stuck behind a garbage truck. Then the paparazzi started taking photos of the couple in the taxi. And then instead of, they were just about to give me the location where they were going to go, but then they told me to circle back to the precinct. Singh was eventually able to get the couple away from 67th Street. Sources tell CBS2 the paparazzi started following Harry and Meghan earlier in the evening after they left the Ziegfeld Ballroom on West 54th Street, where Meghan had just been honored at an award ceremony. And then as they were leaving, just the way they chased the car, it just reminds you of like all the other scenes you've seen in the past um, with Prince Harry's mother. And it was just really upsetting. Harry and Meghan have long been outspoken about aggressive paparazzi. And Harry has said he believes overzealous paparazzi caused the tragic accident that killed his mother, Princess Diana. He said to Oprah, I, if I stayed in the royal family, I felt that history would repeat itself. And we know what history was talking about here. He was talking that he thought his wife and his children would be in danger. Wednesday, a spokesperson for Harry and Meghan described a, quote, relentless pursuit lasting over two hours, resulting in multiple near collisions involving other drivers on the road, pedestrians, and two NYPD officers. The briefing I received, uh, you know, two of our officers could have been injured. I would find it hard to believe that there was a two-hour high-speed chase. That would be, I find it hard to believe, but we will find out the exact duration. Mayor Adams went on to say even a 10-minute chase would be dangerous. The statement from the couple's spokesperson also said people were driving on sidewalks and running red lights. Singh says he did not witness that. That must have happened earlier if they were being chased before. And the NYPD released a statement saying numerous photographers made their transport challenging and the couple arrived at their destination. There were no reported injuries, no crashes, and no arrests. Live in the Upper East Side, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. Thanks, Tim. And stay with CBS 2 and our website, cbsnewyork.com, for continuing coverage on this story.